Hello Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow and Black Lightning. And in today's video we're going to be discussing the CW upfronts which is currently going on and all the Arrowverse news that has come out of it. So if you don't know what the CW upfronts are, they are a little show that goes on around this time every single year where everyone from the CW and the CW company itself come out and release loads of information about all their shows, about where they're going in the following coming up season, which obviously starts around like September, October time. And they announce loads of different things, including their schedule and lots of little tidbits about all their shows. It's a very exciting time if you watch loads of CW shows, and especially if you are a fan of the Arrowverse, like you all are, because of course they all fall under the CW banner. So let's go through all the news that we've got so far. Now, just to clarify, the CW upfronts are not finished yet as of recording this video, but I'm pretty sure all the Arrowverse stuff has gone past, so I think we should be fine. But if there is any more Arrowverse stuff, I'll be sure to make more videos on it because it's just going to be awesome. But I also just want to get a couple other things out of the way first. Uh, iZombie Season 5, which uh, is, of course, another CW show and is technically a DC show. Um, that is, It was confirmed it was going to get a Season 5, but it's now been confirmed that Season 5 is going to be its final season, which is a shame because I love iZombie. I really do. I watch it a lot. Um, I really enjoy that show. I think it's one of the best shows the CW actually does, but it really doesn't get high ratings anymore. I don't think it ever really did. Um, so the fact it's made it to season 5 is actually quite is quite impressive for me. I thought season 4 was going to be at the last, but I guess not. Um, this is sad news, but hey, I kind of I kind of seen it coming, to be honest. And also, there has been some chat about Lucifer, and perhaps CW picking up Lucifer, but uh, I'm pretty sure somebody from the CW did say that Lucifer, it was just never in talks, and they were never going to do it. So I guess Lucifer is still looking for a new home at this point. Now, the CW did announce its new schedule going into the next season, which I'm just going to point out the Arrowverse ones, because that's what you all care about, and that's what you're all here for. Um, so, Supergirl has now been moved to Sunday, which it used to be on Monday. It's now on Sunday at 8pm. And I feel they're doing this because, simply, that they're trying to launch a new show on Sunday nights, which is called Charmed. And it's going to be a very similar audience, you know, very similar female-driven audience that Supergirl has. And they're going to use Supergirl to springboard Charmed off of. So they kind of have people will watch Supergirl at 8 and then that audience will hopefully stick around to watch Charmed. It's, it's similar to what they did with Black Lightning with The Flash. I feel it's, it's very similar to that. So Supergirl has moved to 8pm on Sundays, which is a bit of a weird time because obviously the CW are now opening up their Sunday, uh, Sunday slots again. But uh, it's an interesting time. I didn't really expect Supergirl to move, but I mean, I guess it's fine. I don't really see a particular problem with it. So yeah, sure, why not? Then we have Mondays, which at 8 p.m. on Mondays, we're going to be getting DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which is staying the exact same slot it's been for a while now. Uh, obviously, uh, Legends of Tomorrow did move to Monday nights uh, at 9 after Supergirl. Uh, it's now on the 8 p.m. slot on Monday. Uh, so it's moved ahead an hour uh, back from its time slot and that's fine. I think Legends fits on that time slot. I quite like it there. I quite like it to start the week off because it's always quite a fun show. Um, uh, but also following that at eight, uh, sorry, at 9 p.m. on Monday is Arrow. So this is very interesting. Arrow has completely changed its date completely. So Arrow used to obviously be on Thursdays. It's now on Mondays. This is a very good move, and again, it's kind of like they're using Legends to springboard Arrow, because although Arrow obviously started before Legends and was quite a bit more popular than Legends for some time, obviously if you've been following the ratings and things like that, you'll know that Arrow really has not been doing very well recently. There's a lot of speculation in my personal theory that Season 7 will be Arrow's final season, but Legends has been doing better in the ratings than Arrow uh, over the past season, and I feel like they're going to try and use Legends to springboard Arrow a little bit. And help it get its boost for its final season because, uh, like I said, Legends is doing very, very well at the moment. Or at least it was when it was when it was on. Obviously, it's off now. Um, so they're going to use that success to try and uh, boost Arrow a little bit. And I think it will help. The Thursday time slot just did not do Arrow any favors whatsoever. It should have stuck to its original time slot, or at least put it after Riverdale because at least Riverdale will be able to boost it. Um, but. Yeah, it's just, I think this is a good decision, I'm glad. I mean, Monday, it is going to be weird having Arrow on Mondays and not towards the end of the week because that's what I'm so used to and that's what we're all used to, but whatever. I mean, I, I'm happy about this because it should help with the ratings and hopefully it will give Arrow a good boost. And then Tuesdays, which is the only other relevant day, is exactly the same as it's always been for for a while now, which is at 8pm you're going to get The Flash and then at 9pm you're going to get Black Lightning. Uh, obviously, there have been no news or confirmation regarding Black Lightning being in the Arrowverse yet. They still haven't said anything about that, so we just have to assume that it isn't at this point. Although I still think it will come into it at some point. Uh, they just kind of want to keep it disconnected for now, especially after how well it's done. Um, but The Flash 
is actually quite interesting to discuss. Now, also, Pagey did bring this up in his video, and I just want to echo his, his opinion here, which is something that's very interesting. When you look at the crossover next season, in terms of how it's obviously, you can start on Supergirl, obviously, you would start on Supergirl as you do, so start on Sunday Night, then move to Legends, then Arrow, and then finish on The Flash. And what's interesting is, if it's Episode 8 of each uh, season, which it normally is, it's, the crossover is normally Episode 8, that means it's going to land on The Flash's 100th episode, which means the final episode of next year's crossover is going to be The Flash's 100th episode, which is very good. That would be a very nice little way to tie that in, because obviously you remember a couple of crossovers ago, we had the Arrow 100th episode, which was nice, and it seems like we're getting something very similar with The Flash for next crossover. Although, maybe we won't, who knows, because we've just had some more news regarding next year's crossover, which is extremely exciting for us DC fans. So this news has just broken just now, but Stephen Amell has been on stage and he was talking about the Arrowverse and he has said that the next crossover is going to focus on Gotham City. That's right, we're going to Gotham City for next year's crossover and it's going to feature the debut of Batwoman. Now this is amazing, like this is such big news. Like Stephen has been teasing this for a while, he said at the upfront I've got a big announcement to make. So he's come out and he's now said that the next crossover is taking place in Gotham, which is amazing. Like, that's so cool for us fans of DC and obviously as Batman fans, which I'm a huge Batman fan. So that's amazing to see um, this be implemented into the Arrowverse. Because obviously we've had Gotham teased before and we've had, you know, references to Batman. We've had Bruce Wayne name dropped, but we've never been there. But we're actually now going to Gotham and Batwoman is going to be taking part in it. Now, one thing I do have about this is that... Obviously, Batwoman in the comics is Maggie Sawyer. Maggie Sawyer is, of course, a Supergirl character. She's now left Supergirl. She's now on the Punisher. I think that perhaps we could be seeing Earth-1 Maggie Sawyer. That, and that would be a really awesome thing if they did that. If we could get Earth-1 Maggie Sawyer as Batwoman. Just for the crossover, because obviously, um, Floriana Lima, who plays her, she's busy now um, on the Punishers, but she could come over just for a few episodes on this crossover. If she's only going to be in the crossover, then that's fine. We can get her for those four episodes. I'm sure that wouldn't be too big of a problem. I'm sure Punisher would have been finished filming by then. So we can definitely use her for this crossover. And I think it'd be amazing if we could get Earth-1 Maggie Sawyer running around as a vigilante. That'd be such a good thing for for also Supergirl fans, but also just fans of DC and Batwoman in general. It'd be really cool to get that persona on screen in the Arrowverse in live action. And the fact we're going to Gotham, I just can't wait to see how they do it. Like, I can't wait to see how they manage to get those gothic elements into the into the sets and things, because it's going to be so cool to see that. And this is like the best, biggest news that they could have announced, and I'm so happy that they did. So, like I said, that's the news. That's everything we've got regarding the Arrowverse. I mean... Like I said, there might be some more news coming. I don't think there is. I think that's all wrapped up now for the Arrowverse. We've just got, like, some other shows to get through uh, in regards to the CW. But as far as the Arrowverse goes, this is what we've got. And this is very exciting news. Obviously, like, the schedules is something we need to know. It's very important. Uh, it's, it's a little bit annoying that Arrow and Legends are on the same day just for video making. That's a bit annoying because I like having them all kind of on separate days. Because I can make, you know, a video each day. Whereas I'm going to have to find a, find a weird way around this. But whatever I'm, I'm, if it helps arrow then that that's all that matters to me um but I, the schedule's important news and we've got that so that's all good we've got that solid in writing and then we've also got that amazing crossover news about gotham and and back and batwoman i can't help but think that this is something to do with gotham's cancellation like does this mean that after because obviously gotham season five is going to be gotham's final season does that mean that now gotham's cancelled does that mean that we can now uh I mean, you know, cancelled next season. Does that mean that we can use more Batman stuff in the Arrowverse? Is that what that means? Hopefully it does, because then we can definitely start using that. Uh, but overall, all this news has got me very, very excited. And I just, I'm so excited for this crossover now. And now we just need to wait until Comic-Con so we get the next round of news. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned till then. Also, I just want to mention quickly that uh, something I've been bringing up in my past couple of videos, uh, I will be attending Heroes and Villains Fan Fest London in 2018, which is taking place uh, in... A uh, week and two days from now, uh, which is very cool. It's obviously the big convention that happens in London every year, very specifically tailored to the Arrowverse. I'm going to be there along with many other YouTubers. I'm going to be collaborating with people such as the DC TV show, Boba Talks, Mule Kick Media. We're all going to be meeting up here. It's going to be really awesome. It's going to be a great show. I'm meeting loads of the stars, which is just incredible. And also, if you see me there and you want to come up and say hi, please come up and say hi. It'd be awesome to meet some of you guys. So I'm just letting you know that I am going to be there. And I'm going to be there on the Saturday, so it's going to be awesome. And I hope to see some of you guys there. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.